The military made its move in the early hours of the morning, detaining Myanmar's democratically elected leader and Sang Suu Kyi and other senior figures from the ruling party. Suu Kyi's NLD government won November's election by a landslide, but accusations of electoral fraud led to tension between the civilian government and the military. What my sense is, is that the hardliners have the upper hand in the internal military struggles, but also that they've gone back to their Chinese sponsors and said, look, this is where we're thinking of going with this. And the Chinese government, which is not uh, inclined to support democracy, has said, you have our backing. The political crisis began last Tuesday when a military spokesman refused to rule out the possibility of a coup. The following day, Myanmar's military chief stoked fears when he said the constitution should be repealed if it was not abided by. As tensions reached their peak on Saturday, the military issued a new statement, saying the commander-in-chief's comments had been misinterpreted and pledged to protect the constitution. But just hours later, emboldened by rumours, hundreds of protesters gathered in Yangon at a pro-military rally, where speeches welcomed a coup with the support of the people. There is no uh, legal basis for the military to take over. Um, while the military may claim there are certain powers in the constitution that allows it to do this, um, that's very much open to interpretation. Um, and it's fairly clear that in terms of a constitutional emergency, um, that that power largely lies with the president um, and not with the commander in chief. More than a dozen countries, including the US and the UK, have urged Myanmar to adhere to democratic norms. This military coup will likely lead to more sanctions. The NLD has called on the military to accept the will of the people and has asked its supporters to stay calm. On the same day a new parliament was due to open in Myanmar, the fate of the country's democracy is uncertain. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.